Hi, welcome to our basics. Last part, risk and rewards for debt and equity. You are an investor. You want to be investing in debt or in equity shares. Debt means debentures. Always remember risk and returns. Returns means rewards go side by side. So if you're going to be investing in debentures for you, the risk is always the least. Why? Because whatever might happen, company makes a profit or loss, you will be getting your fixed income. If you are going to be taking least risk, you will always be getting least returns because the company knows that you have not taken risk. So therefore, there will be least returns. If you're going to be investing in equity shares of the company, then in that case, the risk for us is the highest because there is no fixed commitment to receive. You might get dividend, might not. Market price of shares might rise, might not. Do remember that as a shareholder, I benefit from two things. First, uh, dividend. Second is capital appreciation. But both these things are not fixed. So therefore, my risk is the highest, but then highest risk might give you highest returns also. Then from company's point of view, now this is very crucial for us for our subject. Whenever a company issues the debentures, there is highest risk. Why? Because whether a company makes profit or not, it will still have to be paying that interest part. Wherever there is a fixed commitment to pay, your risk is highest because you got to be earning that much amount also to be paying something. But then do remember highest risk might give the company highest returns by because cost of debt is least. So from EBIT, if we subtract interest, which is always least, then the amount that remains with the company will be always highest. And one more thing also interest is an expense allowed for income tax. So therefore your net cost further falls. So whatever remains with the company is always the highest. Now, if a company issues the equity shares, the risk part is very less because there is no fixed commitment to pay. Even if a company has profit, it might not still declare the dividends, right? So therefore, there is no fixed commitment to pay. If there is no fixed commitment to pay, risk is less. But then if the risk is less, returns will also be less. Why? I told you all over here this important part. ROI is independent of capital structure. So therefore, if a company is going to be issuing equity shares, it will be getting some ROI. ROI in our words will be meaning EBIT. So therefore, you'll be getting EBIT. EBIT is also called as operating profit. From operating profit, you got to be incurring cost of funds also. Now, in this case, try to be thinking equity shareholders have taken highest risk. So therefore, you got to be giving them highest dividend also. So whatever will remain with the company, that will be the least as such. So therefore, company's returns will be least whenever in this case, the equity shares will be issued. One more point also. Now, returns will be less because if you're going to be issuing equity shares, the earnings will get spread over more number of equity shares. So therefore, ultimately per share earnings will always be less. Now, this is basic risk and return chart that you should be knowing of debt and equity, which will be useful for all the chapters that we are going to be doing further. Thank you. I'll see you next time.